Hello, and welcome to Suburban Academy. In this video, we will review a step-by-step -step guide on how to sample for PFAS in drinking water. Ensuring your data is defensible starts at the time of sampling. We want to ensure you have the knowledge you need to make your event a success. First, schedule your sampling event with your Suburban Testing Labs project manager. Ensure you have enough time to receive supplies and know when your sample pickup or shipping date is. Sample on that day. Before taking the samples, review your kit to make sure you have everything you need, including your sample and field reagent blank, which contains PFAS-free water, an accurate chain of custody form and label, have at hand some nitrile gloves, not latex or neoprene, gallon Ziploc freezer bags, and a cooler with wet ice. You will also have a field reagent blank bottle filled with PFOS-free DI water, and an empty bottle to fill the field reagent blank. You will also have sampling containers that are pre-preserved with Trisma. Immediately before sampling, complete the sampling information on the labels and chain of custody form. It is essential that you pay very close attention when applying the labels. First, wash your hands well with PFAS-free soap. Then, apply your clean nitrile gloves. Ensure that you are using new, unused gloves at each sampling event. Now it's time to start filling the bottles. Start with your field reagent blank. This must be done at the same time and place as your main samples are taken. Take the empty container labeled as the FRB and uncap. Take out the bottle labeled PFOS free DI water and uncap. Pour the DI water into the FRB container. Cap the FRB bottle and bag it along with the sample bottles. The container label will read FRB hold. Make sure it is applied to the bottle for the FRB. Then recycle the empty bottle. Unscrew the cap from your sample bottle and keep it in your offhand or lay the cap facing up on the bag. Fill the bottle to the neck as normal, taking care not to overflow the bottle, which would wash out the preservatives. Recap securely and place the sample container directly into fresh, clean Ziploc bag that we provide you. Keep sample bottles from different sampling locations bagged separately to prevent cross-contamination. Put the bag samples on ice as soon as possible after collection and ensure they are transported to Suburban Testing Labs on ice. Sign your chain of custody form and ensure you filled out the site ID, date, time, initials, and relinquish by fields. Then get ready for transport. After you or your suburban pickup driver surrender samples to the lab, they are checked for proper temperature and chemical preservation. This ensures that the lab can provide you with accurate data by adhering to the DEP method requirements and our own internal SOPs. They are then refrigerated and stored in a logged location until they are ready to be analyzed by the lab. With Suburban Testing Labs, you can have peace of mind knowing your PFAS samples are analyzed right at our headquarters with no need for out-of-state shipping. This sampling technique is new for many, but with the right equipment and information, it's a breeze. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call our office. Remember to reach out to your STL project manager if you have any additional questions after this video. And that's your step-by-step -step guide for PFAS sampling for drinking water in under five minutes.